So welcome to Techno Dad Life, where we build, learn, and create as a community. And on today's episode, we're going to be installing Weddy. I don't know even know if that's the right pronunciation. Weddy, Weddy. And so what Weddy does is actually is a terminal, but it's in Docker. And so because of that, what we can do is actually just make a bookmark and then actually go to a terminal immediately from a bookmark. So it's a lot faster than you know, any other way of getting to the terminal. And so a special thanks out to Raul FG3, who's on the forums. He's the one who pointed this out to me. If you're new here today, welcome and make sure you like and subscribe to be notified of our next coming videos. And today's question of the day is what do you use the terminal for? And here we go now. Okay, so today we're going to install Vetti, which is a terminal emulator that you can run in a Docker that then you can use to actually change things on your Open Media Vault machine. So first we're going to type in Vetti. And we're going to look for a very specific one. And so we're going to go down here to this one, Sven E. Honey slash Vetti. We're going to click on that. And we're going to click on the I to bring up the info page. And then we're going to go back and we're going to click start. Once that's done, we're going to click close. Then we're going to click run image. First we click on Vetti and then run image. And so we're going to call this Vetti or Wetty. Restart policy always. Network mode is bridge. Port is 3000. We're going to hit the plus sign. And so we're going to change one thing here. We're going to click on remote SSH server. And we're going to change this. So this should be the IP address of your server. So we'll delete that. Copy our IP address. Paste that here. And then once we've cleared, cleaned that up, then we're going to click the check mark. The other two things here on here are remote SSH port. And so on Open Media Vault, the SSH port is naturally 22. So we're going to leave that. If you change the port, make sure you change that. Remote SSH user. So it's going to start out as root, or you could put one of your users here. Hit the plus sign. And once you're done with that, click Save. And here you can see our port that we need to log into is 3000. So we're going to copy our IP address again, paste that in a new window, and then go to 3000, and then hit enter. And yes, we do want to continue. And now we put in our root password. And so now we're logged into our machine, so we can do our normal stuff. So if we wanted to do our PID and UID, we would just type in ID, then our user, which for us is user1. And there you can see we can get the PID and UID. And then we can uh, do everything else too, such as even update the machine. or uh, download any files. And so then as long as your server's running, you can actually just make a bookmark. So then if you wanted a new terminal, you would just click on the bookmark. So short and sweet today, but a very handy uh, program, Weddy, and, and a special thanks out to Raul who pointed this out to me. And if you haven't already, please check out our Patreon page if you like these videos. So if you're new to this channel, make sure you like and subscribe to be updated when we put out a new video. Until then, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.